Hey everyone, welcome to another video from EGIS Associates. So um, today we're going to be talking about and unboxing uh, a new cooler for the Ryzen computer we built recently. So for those that may remember or watch the build video, we just built a, a new uh, workstation on using the Ryzen uh, 7 uh, 2700X, there we go, uh, processor chip that had eight cores and 16 threads and uh, is currently, well, outside of Threadripper, AMD's really top of the line uh, computer CPU that's available on the market. And this came with a uh, Wraith Prism uh, air cooler and heatsink. And we initially said we're going to try that and see how it works and see if it would get the job done for us and provide us with enough cooling to run the system. So we have been testing it and it, it's for the most part pretty sufficient when we do our um, you know, basic web surfing and Word documents and PowerPoints and Office apps. The temperatures are perfectly fine. They're in the upper uh, 40 degrees Celsius to, to lower 50 degrees Celsius. We actually start running our GIS applications, our map, our catalog, even our GIS Pro. You know, it, it stays, you know, pretty, pretty good in the, the upper 50s. And in most cases, uh, again, degrees Celsius, maybe hitting for doing some high end rendering like 3D rendering or working with some big, bigger raster files. It starts to get up into you know, the 60 degree range, but nothing uh, bad. And even doing some gaming on it. I've been playing some games on it. Uh, World of Warships, uh, Battlefield 5, Civ, Civ 5 and whatnot. Again, the, the temperature on the CPU uh, stays pretty reasonable. Um, in that, that 50, upper 50s uh, to lower 60s degree range in most cases. So nothing too, too horrible. Uh, however, when we get into working with videos, like the one you're seeing here now on our YouTube channel, we start to encounter some problems as we work with them more and add more into them. And especially when we go to render the video, um, it, it really pegs out that CPU. We're hitting all uh, eight cores, all 16 threads, uh, and it's, um, ramping up overclocking it, it it's hitting 80 plus degrees celsius and stays that way through most of the process of rendering that video and so that's really just not acceptable for us so we went and decided to replace that with the this liquid cooler there we go we'll turn around so you can see it the nzxt kraken x62 Went with this particular model for a couple of reasons. One, our case is an NZXT, uh, so I know that this is going to fit in that case properly. Two, it also ties into the um, onboard fan controller that was there that works with the NZXT cam software, so we can monitor fan speeds and fan curves and set those things up and uh, whatnot. Um, and uh, secondly, this just got really good reviews. It did uh, some research out there and a lot of folks were raving about what a good cooler this was. So what we'll do is go ahead and unbox it and see what's in there. Because I'll be honest, um, I don't know exactly what's in here myself. I mean, other than what you see on the, the box here. So let's get the box opened up. Now it does come wrapped, shrink wrapped in plastic. I've already taken care of that, got rid of that. So let's just open up the box here. Build the extraordinary, it says on the, the lid. So I open it up. And we get uh, immediately um, a user's manual that comes in here. That gives us the component list of what's in here, the preparation for install, and so on. So that, that will come in handy because I've never installed a liquid cooler before. So this will be a first. So turn that down. Whoops. Knock that over. And pull this out. I'll set the box down here to the side for a moment. See what we have in here. Okay. So starting out, this is the actual cooler that sits on top of the uh, CPU itself. It's a I uh, also think it includes the pump goes with it. We have a SATA power cable to power the whole thing. Now this is RGB, so it, it will 
uh, light up and be pretty. We have two NZXT, looks like, uh, I think these are 140 millimeter fans. Let me verify that on the, the box here. Yep, says 140. So, yep, so two 140 millimeter fans to move air across it all. And then connected in with this is our radiator. So uh, this is, uh, let me get this out of the way so you can see it better. But this is a radiator. Uh, so just like in a car, right, there's liquid that flows through here. Uh, air blows across the, f the fins on the radiator here, cools the liquid down, and then it's sent back to the, the CPU to, is, is cooler water to take the heat away from it. So um, let's see if I've got a size on this radiator. Here, does it tell me? Um, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, 280 millimeter radiator. Makes sense with two 140 fans, right? And, uh, okay, so that's going to end up going in the top of our, our case. We have uh, fans pushing the air out, uh, up through, get the air movement through there. So that'll go in there. And you can see the hoses here, nice. Uh, braided hoses, good looks like good strong connections on there, and so this this part down here, the pump here, I'll pull it out of the plastic. So you can see it a little better. Get this down. Okay. Yeah. So this will sit down on the CPU like so in some form. And then this gets mounted on the top of the case. So it goes something like this, and the hoses then for move the, or therefore move the liquid back and forth between the radiator and the CPU cooler. Okay, so this should work really well on keeping our CPU cool under all all loads. Um, also included with this. Sorry if you hear meowing. It's one of my cats. Socos, go away. Um, anyway, so this has brackets that will fit both Intel and AMD uh, chips, so this can work with either one. So we've got the brackets, we've got the mounting screws that mount the radiator to the case and the fans to the case. Uh, there is a bracket on the case uh, in there to mount those up. So we've got everything we need to make this, uh, make this all work. So anyway, so there you go. You get an idea of what you can expect if you buy an NZXT. X62. Uh, I do want to also make uh, or note that on the the bottom uh, here of the pump and the the cooler that attaches the CPU, there is already thermal paste applied, so you don't have to worry about having extra thermal paste unless you want some as a backup if you mess up installing it. So with that, we'll go ahead and call it. Um, I will be installing this on uh, into the the computer very soon. I'm not going to make a video of that installation. Um, you can find many of them out there, so I'm not going to do that. But did want to see, let you see what we we're going to put in there. Um, of course, as always, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and keep subscribed to our channel so you can be notified when new updates come out, new videos. Also, we just recently launched our merchandise store, so you can get neat little t-shirts like the one I have on here, EGIS Associates, and we've got mugs and bags and mouse pads and things like that on there, and we're going to be doing some new fun designs about GIS um, and technologies and things like that uh, out there, so, you know, don't know what all we're going to play with to, to do that. But just keep an eye out there, get, get you some good merch. And if you really like what we're doing, make sure to become a patron of our channel. So uh, there'll be a link to our Patreon page in the description below. And with that, again, we'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks.